I'm here for the revival of the toys. Uh, this is the outer covering of one of our famous coil pine tree pine tree cover that covers the outer layer of the uh, tree and uh, we can get it for low cost no cost at least no cost because uh, the pine trees are in abundance in our area locally they are found everywhere uh, through the latitudes and longitudes of uh, this area ghoul so uh, in our childhood days we used to get uh, these locally we call them hakar hakar and peel them off, uh, used to peel them off from the trunk of a uh, pine tree and we used to get uh, the this piece from I have cut uh, this piece from this uh, uh, outer covering this is the covering of the pine tree and uh, we used to cut it in a shape like triangle at at the uh, both ends like this you can see it and thereafter uh, I need to finish it like this and This was one of the mm, best amusements that we used to enjoy in our childhood days. Basically, this is this material is uh, not completely wood, but something near to wood. If it is not exactly wood, but it is something like wood or a part of wood so basically this tie was very low cost toy and by just saying our elders please please give me give me make a toy for me make a we used to call it locally Bumpatul. Bumpatul. It is also based on the rotation. It is also based on the rotation. So we can color it even while using these this toy at school. We can fascinate child, our children towards the studies. Basically, we can color it. We can color it also. Uh, if you want to show the students that the light consists of seven colors, we can color it violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And after rotation, it will basically it will turn if we will try it will turn into white shade totally white shade and this, this by using this toy we can also uh, teach children that the light consists of seven colors that is deep gayor violet indigo blue green orange and red so uh, basically uh, my point is to revive these toys, the old days toys. Basically, no, I have never seen uh, because Ghoul has turned into a small town now. Basically all the children are uh, seen, uh, even my children are playing with these toxic toys like this plastic. And uh, whenever I uh, enter any of my rooms, I find these toys sojourning out there. And I use uh, often stumble on these toys when there is no light. So, therefore, these toys were very, very eco friendly and 
the best thing in them was they were biodegradable making no harm to the ecosystem to biosphere and to the mankind as well and these two are uh, ne neither to the soil even neither to the soil plastic is non biodegradable and it it creates a mess when we throw it all around our places into the nalas into the rivers and they turn the water toxic and make the condition of the soil very miserable and, uh, and that cannot be regenerated very easily and uh, when we talk about these wooden ties and the earlier toy the karkar that i have made uh, yesterday uh, that was also one of the greatest toys that we ever use made uh, with the guidance of the elders and and when the toys were made we used to watch our elders very very passionately so that we can learn how to make these toys and i have learned from my elders from my elder brother from my father and from the elders of our village where these toys were made and i used to watch them very carefully and very uh, passionately as how these toys are made so basically i am making this toy i am revising this toy today for you people to learn that our ancestors were much much far far ahead of their times because they never used the manufacture toys they used to make toys for their kids and uh, and one thing i would like to share with all of you people that yesterday when i made the karkar uh, my small kids are very anxious about the phone about the smartphone they uh, spend hours on the phone watching different videos of different cartoon characters but yesterday when i made the kharkhar the toy they threw the my phone away and and said that we want to play with it we want to play with it uh, unfortunately uh, i was not having the phone in my hands that time it was in their hands when they saw the kharkhar they were so excited to play with it now uh, up to midnight they played with it so uh, it is almost done and i have to make two holes in it uh, you can uh, see the shape the lateral shapes they are just if we can uh, just see it like it is like like a rectangle and if we uh, we will see this place this is a triangle and this is also a tri triangle and the whole entire piece is like a trapezium so uh, basically i am going to make two holes in it only two holes thereafter i will show you how it works i am about to reach the bottom i have already made it basically teaching is not something very special but but keeping alive your culture is very very much that means something we cannot
leave our culture because the the culture uh, our culture has given us so many precious things so many delightful things so it is almost done there are two holes now in it if you can see throw it there are two holes like this and uh, for me so here we go with uh, I have made at my school last uh, yesterday so, so so this thread would be inserted from one side to the other side so that we can we can we could be able to tie it basically this is like a spindle we have seen so many spindles the modern spindle is this all is learned from the basic things that were done in the uh, olden days everything is just polish it nothing new but everything is what has been left for we people by the ancient people so here we go you can just wow what a sound it makes and look at the speed wow wow basically this is the toy that i was wow so So this has, this is one of the toys that um, that was in vogue, in fashion during my days, and this was basically a wow toy for all the children. You can hear just the sizzling sound that it makes. Wow. Perfect. It was perfectly made. So, have a nice day. Revive if you have got some uh, talent of the olden days. It can be related to the toys or any dress or any dress up that were uh, in vogue in fashion in all the olden days you can you can revive that too uh, i am here to revive the toys that we used to make make in our days and one more toy will be uh, shared with you people uh, the uh, entire making of that toy with you people will be shared in the next video till then bye bye have a nice day if you like what i am doing Please subscribe my channel. It's up to you. It takes no, uh, it asks for no money. Just an appreciation. That's a thumbs up. Like, share, and comment on the video. Thank you very much.